Ellis, welcome to Soapbox. So before we begin, let me start by thanking our sponsors, Pieces Pizza, that has some of the most awesome pizza you're going to find around Sacramento. And uh, they are located at 21st and Capital. Capital. <laughs> so um, great pizza. If you, haven't if you haven't tried that yet, please go check that out between 21st, I'm sorry, uh, between Capitol and N Streets. And our other sponsor is Humor Times, the funniest news source, lots of political cartoons in there, very um, good publication. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, find one around Sacramento. Definitely good information in there, fun times. All right. Well, thank you for being with us. I want to introduce my guest, Mary Zeiser. She is with 99 Rise, and we are here to talk about something very exciting coming up this spring. Lots of good, good things coming. We all know what is currently going on uh, with the, the political uh, climate heating up with the, the election season. We're very much aware, you know, being uh, all of the information being um, pushed is all centered around the big impact of money and politics. Bernie Sanders campaign, we love him, <laughs> um, is definitely highlighting the issue of corruption in our democracy. And um, he's not alone in this and he is, he's calling all of us to stand up. And so the organization that uh, Mary and I met through, 99 Rise, is, is really has been pu pushing for building a mass movement to get people uh, together and to show the, the power that they have collectively to demand change and to, to push for that in, in, our, in our democracy, to reclaim the, the power um, back to the people instead of representing only billionaires and, and corporations, to actually represent the needs of, of the people. So, Something really exciting that's been culminating and lots of planning has been going into uh, Democracy Spring. We're, we're happy to be here tonight to talk to you about it. If you haven't heard about it before, we'll be, we're happy to be the ones to introduce it to you tonight. So, All right, uh, so Mary, go ahead and uh, tell us. That's democracy right. Spring, how did it start? What is it? Oh my goodness, <laughs> Lola, you know what Democracy Spring is, but I'm really excited to be able to share this information with the rest of Sacramento. Democracy Spring is going to be the largest mass civil disobedience in the history of our generation. This spring, in April, uh, thousands of folks are going to meet up at Liberty Bell in Philadelphia and march to the steps of the uh, Capitol Mall in Washington, D.C. to restore our democracy, to demand justice, finally, right? Uh, we've got over 90 really amazing endorsing organizations that have joined as coalition members to help us uh, stir up traffic for this like historic moment that we're building up to as we speak. Absolutely, that's always been one of those things that when I first got involved, I was like, okay, we need to get everybody involved. We need it like there's a, over 152 organizations out there currently working on the issue of money and politics, and just getting that power, getting all those people together, would show such a such a great you know urgency on this issue that it really is you know like some people try to call Bernie a, a single issue um, candidate mm -hmm. but really it's that issue of money and politics and the corruption of our democracy that is really driving all of those other issues that we have so uh, so um, absolutely yeah as we've seen this has kind of been a catalyst for a lot of these organizations who have been working on money and politics for all these years finally to see them coming together to collaborate on this piece is really exciting to me so they're starting in at the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia That's why right. did why did they pick that well it's you know it's a representation of kind of like our you know how we've built up our, our nation as a whole our democracy and what we fight for um, you know it's it's a great it's a great starting point hmm. uh, centrally located so that lots of people have access to it and it's just a, it's a really great symbol of, of our nation's struggle Absolutely, that's so exciting. So I could just picture all of these people. So you said so far there's over 90 organizations. What are some of the organizations? That's right. Okay, so get this. We've got Wolfpack on board, Represent Us, Public Citizen, 
Root Strikers, Move On, our friends at Code Pink are joining us, Democracy Matters, Democracy for America, of course, the Young Turks Network. Cenk Ugar is going to be risking arrest along with wow. over 2,000 other volunteers. Wow, that's exciting. Do you have any yeah. celebrities? Anybody else? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so you guys might know of um, the movie The Hulk, right? Mark Ruffalo, the actor from The Hulk, is going to be risking arrest with us uh, and thousands of others as well. Right, yeah. so risks, what do you mean risking arrest? So, so what's going to happen after, so you're going to be at the Liberty Bell, right? That's right. Uh, so essentially, uh, we're going to be we're going to be marching from the Liberty Bell to uh, Capitol Mall in DC, as I mentioned. It's going to be a really long march. It starts April second in Philadelphia, and we're going to be marching uh, over 140 miles um, of, across 10 days till we make it to DC to begin a stage of sit-ins. Ah, okay. So right. so at the sit-ins is where you're basically going to have the arrests potentially. Exactly. So. so there is there is a potential of um, this being an arrestable action, and folks who uh, who have volunteered to risk arrest have done so by signing up on our website, democracyspring.org, um, and this allows them to you know volunteer themselves if if this arrest or if, if this action rather is arrestable, I'm willing to put my body on the line for our democracy. So, so yeah, over 2,000 people have pledged to do this so far, and this is something that really is is it one of those driving things that 99 Rise does, right? So, t tell me more about 99 Rise and their history with the the nonviolent civil disobedience. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so, 99 Rise is is one of the greatest uh, organizations, in my opinion, for the money out of politics movement. Uh, because 99 Rise has specializes in this uh, nonviolent direct action tactic, and so confronting injustices head on is really kind of the most effective vehicle to, to actualizing the change that we're seeking. So, uh, 99 Rise is an organization that kind of uh, grew out of the Occupy movement, as a lot of people remember that movement being boisterous and full of momentum. Um, you know, 99 Rise basically created a really strong set of principles and of and a foundation. Uh, they have, uh, you know, organizational leadership, and it. I think like that might have been something that Occupy missed out on a little bit. That that clear direction uh, of having a grand strategy um, and in its own constitution, even it, it just like is a really. Um, stable, uh, fertile structure for volunteers to jump in and continue building on. So what we've seen uh, 99 Rise do has been remarkable. I've, I've been a volunteer community organizer with them for about three years now. And um, we've, we've done everything from interrupting the United States Supreme Court three times to, wow. um, yeah, to demand, you know, that, that um, I, I definitely want to get into what you've Sorry. been, what you're, what you've been doing, sure. um, and what got you into 99 Rise together. But you don't really hear like the out of all the progressive movements, um, the money out of politics wing of the progressive movement. You don't hear about them using nonviolent civil disobedience. So that's that really does set 99 Rise apart. So why do you think 99 Rise does that? Like, right. So 99 Rise. Uh, essentially pulls from uh, Gandhian tradition and, and Kingian tradition of nonviolence, uh, where you know we we believe that you know nonviolence is the way is the most effective way to to win change, as I was saying earlier. Uh, and so this the strategies and tactics that 99 Rise has employed has or employed has really like um, helped us incredible like achieve incredible things such as legislation change mm. and we saw that during the California March for Democracy yeah. that 99 Rise did uh, where you and I met. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we worked on three pieces of legislation. We targeted three pieces of legislation. We remained nonviolent and uh, continued that stable pressure until our opposition went ahead and, and supported those those three things. Right. Prop 49. That's uh, the, the proposition that would allow for all Californians to vote on whether they wanted their legislators to to you know vote against or not vote against but to um, make movement against Citizens United right right so um, that measure right now is currently being discussed about being brought back to the to the ballot because it was removed in a very corrupt way right the, absolutely. Um, the, a, con a conservative group 
challenged it and the court removed it from the ballot. So yeah, that's one of those things that, you know, I love that 99 Rise draws attention to these things that, you know, most, you know, people wouldn't even know about. And it's really, it's th that's what people have been capitalizing on for so long is that the average, you know, person, you know, the public is not engaged in politics. Politics has become a dirty word and nobody wants anything to do with it. And that's why we are where we are with the, with the state of, our, uh, of the, this election. You know, the outsiders, Trump and Bernie Sanders, are really drumming up all of this excitement and attention because people are so disengaged. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, this, this democracy spring is so exciting because it really is, you know, calling for that political revolution that I, I see we desperately need. Absolutely. Need. Yeah, I, I can completely agree with that. I mean, no matter which social movement you've been fighting for for all of these years, uh, this is going to speak to you. Money in politics is the stem of all of this, uh, you know, social injustice that we've all faced, a system of oppression, right? Uh, whether, you, whether it be the militarization of our police force, the privatization of our prison industrial system, or having Im you know, uh, immigrant rights movement, Black Lives Matters, every single thing from, from health care to, to retirement, it all stems back to the crisis of corruption in our political system. So now is the time. And all, all these major organizations recognize it too. It's really exciting to see everything kind of coming to full fruition this spring here for us in, in Washington, D.C. And uh, right now, so we're just like doing lots of recruiting and training for that, getting folks really amped up to, to celebrate this huge historic event. That is so awesome. I'm so excited. I can't wait. We're going to have people from every state, every state, every 50, one of people from every, um, every state show up and it's going to be amazing. We're going to activate that, you know, power that we have collectively and I'm excited to see what more we can do. But Mary, so tell me, what first got you involved in the movement? We like to use that word, right? <laughs> right, well that's a great question. Um, so when I found out about 99 Rise and, and the grand strategy that 99 Rise was heading toward, um, I found myself kind of working in the nonprofit sector, uh, doing development for this organization. Um, and feeling good about helping the community one person at a time, but what I really needed so deeply was systemic change, and I just didn't know how to plug in. So when I, when I heard um, the executive director, Kai Newkirk, at, at the time, was speaking to, the, um, to, uh, speaking to like, this group of um, you know, folks, I, I, I listened closely and I, re I recognized this is the grand strategy that's going to win back our democracy. With this knowledge, like how could I not, how could I not dedicate myself to this movement? So I, I decided to to begin volunteering. Um, I took on a leadership role. I helped develop a team in Los Angeles, um, and we we did our own actions. We had a lot of fun there, and also participated in national actions as well. Right on. So you're saying that 99 Rise was kind of like set apart from the other organizations at the time based on the fact that they were going after the systemic change? Sure, absolutely. I mean, um, I felt, you know, as though 99 Rise was on a, on a clear path to, to just target injustice and, and make that change happen quickly and swiftly. Um, and someone, someone like me who, who doesn't have all the time in the world to, to like collect signatures on petitions or to you know like do the canvassing work uh, that takes so long to to do it from a top-down kind of way um, it was it was really relieving to see this grassroots like strategy like have have such an, a great impact on the political climate it just like blew me away one action that took maybe 12 hours to plan and execute made international headlines and now we have hundreds of thousands of new you know people who, who, who know about the the crisis so um, it's just, I think that's the way to do it. Yeah. Maybe absolutely. a little combination of both, you know, yeah. top down, bottom up. <laughs> that's great. So, um, so tell me more about going to the Supreme Court. Now, what, what is that and what, what was that about? Yeah, so um, 99 Rise has staged three actions inside of the Supreme Court of the United States. It's pretty miraculous as, as that's the only organization who's ever uh, executed those things. Uh, there, have, there had been like uh, two other protests inside of those courts before this, but um, I myself participated in the second one. Uh, so I found myself 
uh, standing up in front of all of the justices. I saw Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I, I said hi. No. <laughs> um, I, I looked at the justices, and I, you know, was in, inside of the court. The court was proceeding, and uh, myself and, and six others stood up and protested against big money's influence in our political system. Uh, we basically uh, demanded the Supreme Court justices like uphold the U.S. Constitution and overturn Citizens United, the Supreme Court case hearing that has completely legalized you know, uh, corruption and bribery for, already, for, you know, corporations to donate unlimited amounts right. of spending money to politicians. Citizens United said money, or corporations are people. And that money is speech. We had already said money is speech with Vallejo versus whatever, right? Buckley Vallejo. Buckley Vallejo. And then we, you know, came in and, and just opened up the can, <laughs> just like anybody can. Right. It's just, it's completely crazy to me how we allowed that to happen, but, you know, there's, sure. there's, change coming there's you know good yeah. change coming um, you know excited to hear who um, President Obama is going to nominate <laughs> for the Supreme Court because that is much much needed change that our country is is you know very much in need of and you know I just feel like there's so much energy so much momentum coming that this is this is the exact time for something like Democracy Spring. Like this is our time. We're like harnessing the power, you right. know, that, that Bernie Sanders and the, the country really, because it's really, he's calling for this, but we've been, I mean, this is, this is something that we've been looking for, we've been waiting for, and you know, we're, we're ready to, to jump on board and do something, and you see it happening. Uh, and you also see the side that's trying to, you know, silence everybody and go, no, you know, it's all, you know, Hillary, safe, be safe, Hillary, Hillary, or, you know, and the fear that they're pushing, you know, with saying that, you know, the re you don't want a Republican in the office, in office and, and all of this, so. Um, or you don't want Trump because basically he's the f their front runner right now, right? Um, but definitely I feel like something like this is exactly what we need to, to bring people together, to show the American uh, people, to show the, uh, you know, the people in power right now that we are in this and that it's not just Bernie Sanders, it's the people that are going to respond. And it's just not, it's not just one person, you know, this is a leaderless movement of people. And really getting together and joining all of those, those movements, all of those different, you know, causes that we have out there that are very much doing the work that needs to be done. You know, these, these things need to be, um, elevated the issues that are that are impacting our neighbors need to be elevated the immigrants rights movement the black lives matter movement the um, police brutality issues um, also um, all of all of those issues um, the cl climate change the fact that we're not making any progress we're not protecting our, our future for you know um, for the, we're not protecting our environment for future generations is just you know it's unconscionable. We can't mm -hmm. allow that to happen. You know, we ha we all have um, you know family or children, and, and or we care about you know the next generations regardless. And um, we we need to take that and and do something with it. We we can't sit and um, be defeated, right? Right. <laughs> Unless we're doing a sit-in, and then <laughs> we can sit. That's right. <laughs> That's the only uh, time we rest. No, uh, yeah, so. We've been working nonstop around the clock on, on getting ready for this campaign, and everyone is invited. Literally, everyone Everybody. can participate. There are tons of opportunities for volunteers to jump in if they would like. Um, so it's a, it's a major call to action. We want, we want everyone from every walk of life to visit democracyspring.org and, and check out the website, see if you can volunteer to risk arrest, or if you'd like to, to just jump on board at any capacity. Everyone is welcome. That's Absolutely. Sure. And um, feel free to email 99risesacramento at gmail.com if you have questions, if you want more information. Um, that's a good, a good place to, to go to, um, to ask questions. You can also uh, go to a, our Facebook page, 99rise. Uh, Sacramento has a Facebook page. And um, definitely we have a lot of work ahead of us in these next two months, you know, getting people mobilized and organized in our area. Um, but it's a challenge that we gladly take up and we're excited to do. It's work that, that we um, love doing. I, like Mary and I were saying, we met 
at uh, the March for Democracy, 99 Rise did a 480 mile march um, in the summer of 2014 from Los Angeles to Sacramento, uh, pushing those uh, three pieces of legislation and um, was very successful. But that was my first um, introduction to the activist world, th to the movement, like I, I say. <laughs> um, I was, you know, just completely um, out of all that. I don't know any organizers, no one from the union in my life previously. I just completely, um, community organizing was not in my vocabulary <laughs> other than, you know, hearing historically, you know, about the civil rights movement and um, different things like that. So when I heard about what 99 Rise was doing in Sacramento, so close to where I lived, I just had to go out there and meet the, the organization, the people behind the organization, and what I saw was was really um, amazing. Just everyday people, you know, everyday people, students, teachers, you know, young, old, all you know, different people coming together for the common struggle to move us forward, to solve the issues that we can't solve alone, to, to find solutions together, and to recognize that we have a huge roadblock ahead of us. We have a roadblock of money, of corruption, and it's, it's got to change. That has to be that has to be moved so that we can make the progress that we so desperately need and so we so desperately want for ourselves and for our neighbors, and you know something like Democracy Spring is exactly what we needed. It's it's like democracy, uh, the March for Democracy, you know times 50. <laughs> <laughs> it's like bringing everybody yeah. from every state uh, together to to get involved in and really believe in change because that's a scary thing <laughs> she's right this is the big one uh, we're really excited to to be working together and um, I know that lots of other people will, will meet for the first time there at the state uh, at the nation's capital the way that you and I got to meet at the, our state capital and those friendships are just going to continue to grow and I can't wait to see us as a nation unite and reclaim our democracy once and for all Absolutely. Yeah, I, I definitely love the community that 99 Rise does such a great job of creating. It's yeah. just this, this like, you know, we have this understanding that we are part of the same team and that we believe in equality. No one's better than anyone else, that we all have this, you know, hum our, we honor the human dignity in every person. And um, to really you know, live by that and, you know, and to show you're willing to sacrifice for that, you know, the things that, you know, risking arrest, that's not something that, you know, can be, people do take lightly, you know, people are, you know, afraid for potential, you know, issues that might happen in the, in the arrest and it's, it's, it's a sacrifice that you're making because you know, ultimately, you are sending a message that you, this cannot stay the way it is something needs to change and I'm willing to be there and make that change happen, but I'm not alone, right? Right. Imagine how scary it would be if we all thought, I'm going to be the only one, <laughs> you know, risking this, making this kind of sacrifice. No. Yeah, that would be terrifying if you thought you'd be the only one taking a stand up against the political system for your democracy to make sure that your vote counted just as much as anyone else's. But the good thing is that there's going to be thousands of other people doing mm -hmm. the same thing. Um, they can arrest, you know, a, a group of us doing a road blockade, but guess what? There's going to be another set of volunteers ready to take their place right after that. This is going to happen until we can really get our, our foot in the door and ha have our voices heard because this revolving door that our politicians have been stuck in, someone, someone's got to got to stop it and, right. it, and it's, it's up to us to do that. Absolutely. So there's a lot of information about Democracy Spring that we did not cover, um, but there's um, a website out there, like we um, said before, democracyspring.org, that has FAQs out there. There's, there are bills that are going to be, that we are going to be pushing as part of Democracy Spring that are going, that are on there. Uh, there's a pledge that we are going to have Congress sign that we want them to take immediate action against the corruption of money in politics and if they don't that's when our sit-ins will um, will happen and we um, based on the current state of our Congress 
we don't expect them to take immediate action. It'd be awesome if they did, <laughs> um, but if they don't, we're all there pledged and ready to do what needs to be done to, to ensure that change is coming. So very excited. Um, like I said, we have a couple months. April 2nd is when the march is going to start. The sit-ins will start April 11th. For a week, there's also another uh, kind of a partner organ partner um, event happening right after Democracy Awaken Awakening. Um, NAACP, um, Greenpeace, and Public Citizen, I believe, are the big organizations that are organizing that. We collaborated in order to not um, have our our events um, um, uh, overlapping. Uh, but at the same time, we wanted it to, to ride each other's energy and to show that um, collaboration. So very exciting things are coming. And um, you know, they, how they, a lot of people like to minimize uh, the, the, the word political revolution or that a revolution you know, isn't possible in this, this day and age. But I, um, I implore all of you to, to take that leap with us. You're not alone. There's a lot of people and a growing number that believe that change is possible. And um, so thank you so much for, for being here, Mary. Thank, thank you, you all for watching. And please, um, please check out our website, uh, democracyspring.org. And um, again, the email, if you have any questions, is uh, 99risesacramento at gmail.com. Thanks, Mary. Thank <laughs>